Welcome along guys. Well today I'm riding something very different. I've always said this channel's not all about superchargers and litre sports bikes. Today we're on the RC390. No, no, no. I know what you're thinking. This is a pucker little bike. Wait and see. Oh yeah. Now when I was picking my KTM lineup <laughs> for this summer of the bikes I wanted to test ride, I have to be honest, this one wasn't at the top of my list, but I thought, hey ho, we're giving a go. And I'm so pleased that I did because yes, it's only 370 cc. It only puts out 43 horsepower and 35 newton meters of torque. So the engine isn't the, uh, the highlight of this bike. The highlight of this bike is the chassis. This thing, you can really see its Moto3 influence. So yeah, I get it. I'm not, I'm not the, uh, the target audience for this bike, being a, a 48 year old, six foot two, <laughs> 18 stone bloke. I mean, this, this, is, this bike is fully A2 compliant. So when it comes to decent A2 bikes, there, there's not a lot. They're all they're all pretty compromised, really. This one has proper decent suspension, 43 millimeter forks, WP obviously, WP shock, non-adjustable. Admittedly, there's no adjustment on them, apart from freeload on the rear. But it's perfectly balanced, even for a big fatty like me the thing with this bike it's about the handling this is uh, as i say has moto 3 influences it's one of those bikes you could go out and ride just to see if you can ride it everywhere with the throttle pinned <laughs> it's an absolute cork around the bends it's not compromised we've got another tractor oh this, this is going to be one of those reviews where we get stuck behind everything. Hello. Single front disc. Oh. But as it's so light, braking performance is very good. More than enough to haul this little thing up, even with me on it. If you go on the uh, KTM website, they've got all the different range of bikes they do. There's obviously naked, there's off-road, there's touring, and then there's a super sport section. You click on the super sport, super sport section and what you see is an RC390 and an RC125, because basically it's the same bike as the RC125, but with the 390 engine in it. It's the same engine which is in the 390 Duke. It's, I say, it's, it's only 43 horsepower, but for a 370cc engine, that's not half bad. And it makes, the thing about it is it's got a good amount of torque. Below 3000 revs is a bit, bit vibey. Uh, it's not really much happening below 3000. Hit 4000 and that's where all the torque, or go over 3000 and that's where all the torque starts to come in to pull you along. So you don't have to just wring this thing's neck all the time. You can use, it's got usable torque, so you can sit in that torque band, like so, and get pulled along at a very reasonable pace. Top speed on it, you're not going to be breaking any land speed records on this. Top speed is around 110, something like that. Oh yeah, chuck it around bends. This thing actually handles better than the CB650R I was on the other week. I'd much rather take this out for a, a ride <laughs> than the compromised CB. At least you're getting a properly set up chassis with this. It may be lacking a bit of power, but this is proper ring its neck territory. Ride it like a, what it is, a, 
and why it's listed under the super sports section of KTN's website. Here's a proper little super sport. Obviously KTM used to produce the RC8, which was a fantastic bike. I really wish they'd bring that back into the range again. But this shares a bit of DNA with that bike. You can obviously see the similarities with the display. Some would say, yeah, it's probably due a revamp, being an LCD. But I quite like it. It's got all the information you need on it, including a fuel gauge, temperature gauge, gear position, indicator, rev counter, obviously. And it's, it's, it's very similar to the RC8 display. It's a very easy little bike to ride. It's perfect for town work like this. No blipper, no quick shifter, but I think that's a good thing on this sort of bike because people who buy this are still learning their craft. And it's good that they should learn how to change and blip and, and get used to riding a bike without a blipper and a quick shifter. So I think that's a good thing, more than a bad thing on this type of bike. It's really comfortable. I mean, even for someone like me, 6'2", 18 stone, you know, uh, my ass cheeks are more or less touching the floor as I'm riding around on this. <laughs> I don't so much get my knee down as I get my ass down on this. But it's really comfortable. You're sort of, the pegs aren't high. They're a sensible position. It's a touring type riding position. There's not any weight on your wrists. It's comfortable. Don't think I should buy the, the 390 Duke because it's more comfortable. I don't think it is. I think this position is perfect. And because you've got a little bit of weight on your wrists, it actually keeps some weight off your backside. So I actually prefer this touring sports bike riding position to the, to the naked position if you're going on long distances. How fast is it, you say? Well, it's surprisingly quick. What I'll do, I'll do a little 0 to 60 test on this. I may even start keeping a little league table of, uh, of 0 to 60 performance for these, these sort of low capacity bikes. It's pointless trying to do it on thousands and stuff because obviously you're up to 60 before you've even got out of first gear. But these lower capacity things, it, it might be quite fun to have a little league table of the quickest 0 to 60. Hey, mate, that's the red limit of twice. That's a terrible, terrible launch job. <laughs> Not bad, and into the 40. <laughs> oh, they're good fun, these little bikes. <laughs> they're really good fun. Get your ass down. It'd be great on a car track, this. That's a red limiter. Ride it like you stole it. It's even got illuminated switch gear, this. This is sl well, slightly illuminated. There's not a great deal of switch going on with the switch gear. You've got a high and a low beam, a horn. That's, that's about it. And a starter button. But what you have got is illuminated. Very, very good. I had a quote from our friends at B Moto and how much it would cost you to insure this. For Nigel, my test subject, <laughs> it will cost him £187 for the titanium cover. So not, not a bad sum of money. I'll flash up the comparisons with the other bikes, the other quotes that Nigel has had. And as you can see, it's obviously the cheapest so far. So massive thanks to B Moto for providing those quotes for me. Let's get out to 70. This is where it does suffer a little bit, being a, only being a 370cc bike. 70 miles an hour, it's almost 7,000 revs in six gear. It's not a motorway machine. It's not a motorway commuter. Top speed, it'll do about, it'll do over 100, but it's not about doing long distances on the motorway. This is really a town bike and a back road bike minimal motorway work really on this one swing around the bends i just love the fact that you can mess around in the twisties on this it does encourage you to be a little bit a little bit crazy though <laughs> 
it is a proper sports bike it's not a pretend sports bike this is in that super sports section of the ktm website for a reason it's a proper little terrorist so there we go the rc390 not a bike i ever thought i would really like and i was actually sort of dreading riding it home from silverstone for a couple of hours on the motorway that was quite hard the motorway is not its best place to be but it's a fantastic little bike and i've actually taken this out more times than i took out the cbr 650 because this feels like a proper sports bike that's the thing about it it's not got the uncomfortable sports bike position but just the suspension the chassis it's just geared up to feel and you have to ride it like a proper sports bike you have to get off the seat you have to hang off it if you're looking to get an a2 bike i would seriously consider this this is 5200 so it is uh, you know it is quite expensive but it's got proper moto 3 dna this thing it's not pretending to be a sports bike it is a sports bike and that's why i love it this is power level one which is full power Absolutely bonkers. It's also pretty quick.